Hi guys, so as you know, last Wednesday my dog passed away. Um, he was only 10 years old, um, very, very fit, very um, active. Um, I took them to the vets a week before for um, the fact that he was just lethargic and they discovered a tooth that had been infected and um, anyway they operated on him and um, the next day I took him home he was fine he was back to his, back to his usual self um, so anyway on Tuesday night he began to breathe very heavily and his he he was starting to cough really bad like he had phlegm and um my thought my thoughts behind not taking to the vets was that he was only ten years old, he was healthy and within two or three days time he'd be back to his old self. Um so it was around half seven at night at uh, on Wednesday. Um, that I uh, I ordered a cab. Uh, I ordered a taxi, and um, he lay on. He sat on. Well, he lied down on my sh on my. On my knees, on my legs, on my knees, and um, the coffin continued. Um, then I began to feel moisture on my lap. Um, it was blood, and um, there were moments where I thought he had passed away, that he had died, because. He wasn't moving. I was calling his name constantly, um, and then for brief moments, he began to cough, which signalled that he was still alive. Um, so anyway, the, so anyway, the taxi arrived at the vets. I rushed straight into the vet vets. Um, two girls. Ha, uh, asked me to give it two girls asked me to give him to them and I had a really bad feeling I had I, I thought this was the end uh, I really did um, so in about five minutes time they came back out and I saw their faces I, I just knew so I, so I started shouting is he dead is he dead and then I'm I'm so sorry. I just I broke down. I I just I put my hands on my face and I knelt down and I went no. And um, his his lungs were just filled up with with water, uh, with um, with blood and water. So um. He was gone by that point. Uh, so they kept him on life support um, until they asked me if I wanted to take him off it. I said, yeah, straight away, yes, just to do it. Uh, because it didn't matter if he was, uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't alive anyway, he was, he was dead. So it's just breathing on the machine. Um, so within about five minutes later, I went into the room and there he was, with a blanket around his body, dead. His eyes were dark. He was gone. Uh, obviously I was in a lot of shock and I was just, I was just totally sad. I was... I felt a lot of 
sadness for him. Sadness for me. Um, basically the same feelings I did when I, when I lost my, my other dog years ago. Um, just a great, a great feeling of loss. Uh, that my best friend had been put down. Um, there's no words to describe it. It's just horrible. Um, so there I am in the the office, or what we want to call it, and I was just crying my eyes out while I struck his his head. Um, I told him that he'd never be. I told him that. He'd never be forgotten. As long as, as long as, as long as I'm alive, he'd never be forgotten. Um, I kissed him on the nose, kissed him on the on the head, and I walked out. Um, it was clear to see that they, they all. It, it was clear to see that they all knew I was crying because when I walked out, they all stared in my my direction. Um, So I was given a sheet with the phone number on to order his cremation and also order an urn for him, which I did with my pride up, which I did me, which I did me up, which I did, up, which I did with my other dog. Um, I spent eight years with him. He was a rescue dog. He had lost our other dog uh, two months prior and we went to a place called Street Aid and we were looking at other dogs like lurchers and stuff and this beautiful white dog was there in a little cubicle, a little pen and he had a, he had a, he had a gorgeous... Um, ginger spot on his left eye um covered lacerations um they named him crash for some reason we were told that apparently he was involved in the car apparently he was involved in a car crash we were told um so we paid uh, a fee a donation fee for him went to the galleries in Washington, bought him a collar, a lead, a bed. Um, yeah, and then we took him home. We began to love him and take care of him for the last eight years. Seven months of which he's been here in this flat with me. Um, he's my best friend. He's my his family, his family. Um, he and I could never be part. He and I could never be um, parted. He was always wanting to be with me, no matter where I went. Um, I could tell that when I, I could tell that when I started my new job. Um, he had uh, separation anxiety. Um, it was tough going to work knowing that he was alone in the flat but I had a camera installed so I could always see and talk to him um, but yeah as for his death it's a huge shock he's only 10 years old you know it it, it just it came out of nowhere um, it was sudden it was unexpected uh, yeah, he was, he was he was so yeah um, he was so sweet he was so cute he was always wanting your affection um, every every morning every morning he would wake up and I would hear his paws uh, clap against the wooden flooring um, always wanting to get a stroke you know he loves to be he loved, he loves, he loves to be stroked. Um, yeah, I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. 
I, I'm still going through the grieving process. It's going to take me months to get to do all this. Um, dogs are family. It's like a death. It's like a death. It's like a death in the family. It really is. Um, he was such a, a daft personality. You know, he he loved to play with these toys. He loved to have things thrown, and then he would retrieve it. Uh, yeah, he, he was a lovely dog. I'm gonna miss him all the time now. Um, I can't say for certain that I will get another dog. Um, I have to allow time to pass, time to, to grieve. Um, but you never know, I might get another dog. Might do, might not. But uh, he was special. Yeah.